Okay, so, Commands of Colors Ancients. Here's how we're going to do it. You are going to play the Syracusans. So that means you're going to be the, the gray guys on the bottom. Uh -huh. And I'm going to be the Carthaginians on the top. And if you open up the little um, the scroll there next to the three little Legos, click that button. And that will scroll. Yeah, it's about midway on the toolbar. Okay. And uh, it will tell you the scenario information. And War Council. War Country. Five banners. Yes. And uh, I'm actually going to. I will draw out our. Let's see. I'm going to bring out some banners for us because for whatever reason it didn't put those out. That's okay. So I'll put some down here for you. These are off here. So what we're trying to do in this is um, in each scenario you just want to collect a certain number of banners and the way you do that is by eliminating an, an entire unit so for example this little light unit that I moved right there it has mm -hmm. it says little four in the lower right that's how many blocks there would be if we were actually playing this face to face when you eliminate all four of the blocks that counts as a banner okay. and so I would I would take one of your banners uh, so let's clear that All right. Um, I give you. Let's see. I gave me that's five here. Okay. There we go. Uh, so looking at the war council there, um, it's just basically saying that um, I'm going to get five cards, and you're going to get six. And command means different things. It's a variable that will uh, affect different cards depending on what you're playing. I'm going to pull out a couple of cards here just to show you how the base system works. Um, these are section cards so you can see that uh, you looking at from your vantage point there with the Syracusans you've got the left, you've got the center, and you've got the right. And then in each of the cards there depending on which one you play it will let you activate a certain number of units and a unit is all the blocks in a hex. So that first one here, three units on the left, you could activate, say, these three and move them forward. Like the horsemen? The horsemen, right. You So you've got... But I couldn't... But if I activate one of the ones that said four, would I only activate three and one would stay behind? You, exactly. Exactly. So uh, you can... It's up to that number, so you could do up to four. Um some of them, I'm going to pull out a few more, ah, perfect. Uh, some of them, like this case here, are specific scenario, or not scenario, but uh, circumstantial cards. Um, and they're, these are called tactical cards. And this one you would just follow the instructions on it. And usually what these will let you do is a whole block of units or um, a number of units up to your command. Or in this case it's specifically about mounted uh, units so I could use this and and ac uh, activate a bunch of cavalry units up to my command um, so there are a bunch of them in there there are some interrupt cards that uh, let you stop things and and take actions before the person who's doing the card play uh, but most of the ones you'll see are the uh, are the the actual individual unit order cards um, for the different sections now, there's something uh, about these sections. You notice the dotted line there. You can mm -hmm. see um, there are some that it cuts the hex in half. So if you have a unit straddling that, you can play a command card and activate it in either either one of those, okay. so center or right. Um, you move. Uh, so the, the way it works is you play a card. You essentially just you drag it out from your window, and you throw it there, and then you announce what you're going to do, and you can... You know, shift click and right click a bunch of these and say order unit and it'll it'll highlight them and then I'm going to order these for example if I was you and um, you order all the ones you're going to order and then you do all uh, movement that you're going to do um, movement there's a nice little chart there next to the the button that I showed you with the scroll uh, it's got the little clipboard on it it's got all of the charts in there so you can kind of see how the light units move, how the uh, medium cavalry, the light cavalry and all that um, 
<clears throat> separate by page. But essentially, most of your light units will can move up to two. Uh, the foot units can move two. Most of the medium and heavy move one, and it will tell you there. Um, light units have the ability to to do ranged combat, for the most part. They can uh, they can move, and if something's within two or three hexes, they can chuck spears at them, or, or in the case of the bowmen over here, they can shoot their bows up to three hexes away. So you can see the fire range there is that um, second or third column uh, after the, uh, after the mm -hmm. class. Um, then CC is close combat. So if you ever get a unit that is, oops, if you get this unit here, uh, it will engage in close combat. And it will tell you how many dice they get. So obviously the light units have, they're kind of weak. Uh, the heavier units, they give you a little more power in that way. Once you get them there, um, then you would just roll the amount of dice. So I'm going to roll some dice up here. Uh, that light unit, for example, attacking mine. I'd roll two dice, and it would give me a cross sword and a leader. So you just you just choose how many dice you roll from that thing? Yeah. From one to yeah. seven, and that rolls them? Yep. Yep. And it said I rolled two dice. There you go. Peter rolled same thing. <laughs> um and then it will tell you uh, on that chart that for for the most part the light units um, don't hit anything with cross swords. Otherwise, you're just trying to hit whatever symbol type that you're attacking. So green gotcha. is attacking. So a light green. units need the green circle. Exactly. Medium units need the blue. The gotcha. Tr yeah, yep. pretty straightforward. Um, and then there are some, you know, special notes for individual units. You can see that your uh, auxilia unit here is a green, but it's got the white circle around it. That means that it has special circumstances that differentiate it a little bit from the other greens. Um, uh, if you have a leader attached, then you can also hit with that LDR. So the leader, uh, if he was with that unit, that would that would give you a hit. Uh, against somebody you're attacking because you've got the leader bonus with it. So, obviously, command and control is pretty important. Um, also, the concept of support uh, is important here. So, let's say you were... Uh, I was attacking this unit right here, this auxilia unit. Um, if I attack it in close combat, and I'm going to roll a couple until I get one. Uh, ba, 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 ba. There. I get a banner, which is like a retreat. Uh, a banner can be, uh, normally they have to retreat a hex, but in uh, if they're supported by two adjacent units, so in this case the lights and, and the leader unit next to it, they can ignore that banner. Now they, could, they can still do it, it's, it's optional, but they can ignore it if they wish. So... Um, if ever they are up against the, the edge and they can't retreat, for every retreat hex that they can't go, then they'll lose a block. Uh, otherwise, the hits are just one at a time. Um, they never get weaker in, in Ancients, in this version of it. Um, they never lose effectiveness, so you can get it down to one block, but a heavy unit's still going to throw you know five dice with one block left. So basically, it's just their hit points. Um... Let's see, what else? Uh, I think that's more or less it. Uh, a lot of this will come up as we play, and if you have questions, you know, feel free to ask. But uh, having played Memoir before, you know, I mean, I know I know you got familiarity with it, so I don't think this is anything too terribly difficult. I'm going to reset everything here. Um, but the charts are there. I'm going to put all the cards back. Let's see. Um, why don't you go ahead and draw? Uh, so you'll How open do I up. Make this card go away. Put it on the deck. Uh, yeah, deck yeah. You can also just, uh, I think, drag it and into then, the discard too. And how do you shuffle the deck? Uh, it's it's randomized as you pull the cards out. Okay. So I'm putting that card on back. Uh, it should. should not. Yeah, yeah. I should have put it back um, into a reshuffle mode. So if you open up your little two window there, you can drag out. Um, six Kamar six cards into that, and uh, we can get started. You, let's see, uh, you get to go first. Uh, it's not letting me drag to this. Oh, okay. Let's see. Uh, let's see how it works here. For might be the hand. Ah, okay. Yeah, just click the little hand, and for each hand, it draws a card. 
If I'm, I was drawing one card. I uh, know you're going to get six total, and I'm going to get five. Okay. There is our starting hand. And so feel free to look over your cards, decide what you want to do. Start a log file here. So how do I pl actually play the card? Okay, uh, I think you uh, so you right-click the card and just say activate the card. There you go, and that throws it on the center. And that okay. way I get a chance to see what you're doing. Okay, so you're going to do two on the left. And then when you're ready to move your units, you can just drag the card over into the discard pile. How far can these move? Okay, so all, let's see, uh, your light bowman there. Um, basically, the light bowman can move two. Uh, the light cavalry can go up to four, and the little auxilia can go. If they go one, they can battle. If they go two, they can't battle. So they they can be maneuverable, but they can't be maneuverable and battle. So you got to make a choice. Gotcha. And then the, and the heavies just you move one. And most of the pieces have right click context functionality, so you can do everything that you want to do with that. It's a pretty neat module. And then when, okay. when you're all done, you just hit the little hourglass up there next to the camera, and then that clears everything and throws the star back on my side, so yeah. I know it's my turn. And, and Build up my screen. <laughs> it's about real estate, man. Um, yeah. And you can... I think you can Where are these blocks down here, the one, two, three, four, five? Those are, the, ba those are the banner slots, so as we collect them, that's, that's where you'll put the banners. There you go, and draw back up um, to your sixth card. There you go. Right. I didn't even look at my cards. <laughs> Let's see what I got. Okay. I think I'm going to do... units in the center. And I think it'll be these two. So they'll go How do I fire? Ah, okay. So you just right click on the one you want to target, and then you'll, uh, since they moved, they'll get one die. If they stayed still, they get two. Um, so pick who you want to target, and say, that's the target, and then roll a die. It, what if I chose more to roll more than one die? Will it not let me? Uh, no, because uh, they're, they're based. Uh, Fire is two dice, 
Um, but if they move, they only get one. But well, the game if I oh no dice. no we'll just we would take the first one. Okay. Okay. That's a, that's a miss. That's my turn then. Okay. So, right. Uh, well, you get you get to do it up to command, so you could do up to six of them. Oh, but that's the only one that has a range, a range weapon. Um, right? no, the uh, the the bowman, the left, uh, the light bowman on the left of their side, and they have range. And how how much range do they have? The light bowmen have three hexes. Um, the light unit on the right side just have two hexes, so I right. don't think they'll get. So. So if I'm going to attack the same guys, they didn't move. They would roll two dice. Right, but they don't have range to that one. But it's one, two. Okay, so they gotta move. But you do have range to the chariots. And my bowman. A miss. And who else has a range attacks? These little spear dudes? Yeah. The, the little A's? Uh huh. And how far can they? They attack? can go up to two spaces and they can throw up to two spaces. So they could uh, they could go all the way, you know, they could go two hexes up then throw, and then run back. Uh, not, not them. Uh, sorry. I was talking about the light, light guys on the far right, in front of Dionysius. Oh, okay. So how do I undo this? So you just throw that little undo button in the upper left-hand corner. Undo your last move. So these guys here? Uh, on the far right front. Uh, there, you, you don't see them when I click on them? Uh, no, not until you move them. If you, okay. if you order them, I can see it. Yeah, those guys. Okay. Yeah. So when you say two, it's two away, not two in between. Right. So okay. if you move them up, they could get to they could get to mine or that heavy chariot if you got them within two. Okay. All right. So when it says hits equal. Two. That means I'm rolling two dice. Um, no, you'll uh, you'll roll one. Oh, that means I have two hits on me. That means I can get two hits before I'm eliminated. All right. So I just roll one die. That's it. But it <laughs> and look at that. You scored a hit. Oh, I had to roll what I was attacking. That's no. that's right. Yeah, not what you are, but what you're attacking. All right. So, how does this game know that I hit you? It doesn't. I hit you. It doesn't. We're, we're just uh, we're we're you know, I took a hit. There you go. I mark it. Uh, so the game doesn't. I mean, the the module doesn't enforce any rules. It's just a table for you. Ah. Okay. All right. So that's all I could move and fire with, with my move, fire, move? Yeah, those are the only ones that have that kind of 
range. Um, actually, uh, you those those uh the light chair the light cavalry on your lower left hand corner, they can move up to four, throw, and then move back. Can I move through my own units? No. Mm -mm. And how far do they throw? Two. Uh, with or two. One? Two. Yeah. Is that yep. so? It doesn't know a legal move. I could have moved this anywhere on the board. And right. It matters. Right. I mean, we would by, so. because we see the we see the pathway. I can go. Oh no, that's not right. But that is. I mean, where you going is legal. Okay. It's because I'm doing one, two, three, four. Right. And then I'm going to attack. And I hit target for the unit I'm attacking. That's right. Or there you go. So, and I'm rolling how many dice? Just one. And that's a nothing. Actually, I, I don't have to move them back. I can move anywhere I want with these, right? Well, it says, um, yeah. No, just say, uh, right, they get to move, and then they get to fire, and then they get to move again. So, yeah. Now I'm done. Now you're done. And then you just hit that, uh, uh, what do you call it? Hourglass, and that cleans everything. I'm going to order four units on my left. That's going to be all four of these guys. Uh -huh. and let's see. Um, heavy Chariot can go two. So I think we'll spend we'll spend one, two, three, four. And I'm gonna get right in your face there. And this heavy, heavy chariot's gonna go one, two. Uh, let's see, yeah, we'll go two. Um, okay, so I've moved everybody I want to move. Um, I don't have any ranged combat because the chariot doesn't. So the only combat I do have is the light cavalry. It's going close combat against yours. Um, so normally, um, light units have the chance to evade, which means that you're going to declare that you're going to retreat no matter what. Um, that prevents you from being able to battle back in a situation but it also means that it's harder for me to hit you because you're you're kind of doing an orderly withdrawal. Uh, in this situation here, I've got you backed up against your two units since you can't move through them, so you don't have a chance to evade. Um, oh, I, I have to go backwards. I can't squirt out to the side. Exactly. You always have to go one farther away towards your side. So if, if I get you in a situation where your unit is blocked by either yours or mine, I can I can make retreats kind of dangerous. Um, okay. So, uh, this guy gets uh, light cavalry. He gets two dice in close combat. So, uh, swords do not count. Oh, uh, and I got a light. Yeah, oh, it's a picture of it over here. So I got one hit and one retreat. Um, you can ignore the retreat because you're supported because you're touching two of your own units. Um, so really, all you do is you just take one hit. Now you get to attack back with two dice. Okay, so do I have to do anything here, or do I just roll the dice? Just roll the dice. And uh, nothing, nothing. Okay. And that is the end of my move. So, two units in the center. I think that's it. Right? Yep. Just move. Okay.
We'll do a coordinated attack. Order these three. And Bring forth the chariots, and the light bowmen will shoot at these guys here. But I thought they could only shoot two hexes. Uh, the, the bowmen get three. The regular light units get two hexes. Uh, oh, you're right. Yeah. Fire range three. Two dice. Uh, got a banner, but you get to ignore it because you are supported. So nothing there. Um, I guess we will continue with the... Heavy chariot attack. Uh, same target. Let's see. Heavy chariot attacks with a four dice. Uh, here we go. So I got uh, one light and one cross sword. I think that's. Uh, yep. So that takes one hit. Uh, two hits. They get uh, one for the light and one for cross swords. Why do you get one for cross swords? Because it's a, a heavy unit. Uh, ever basically every every other unit except for the light units in cross in uh, close combat, a cross sword is like a wild hit. So then I click on this guy and take a hit, and take a hit, and they're down to two. That's it. And then now we do uh, the other heavy chariot. Uh, yes, the other heavy chariot uh, on the light unit here. Let's see. Attack. Target. And four dice. Uh, one cross sword. That's it. Oh, and on both cases you get to battle back. Uh, completely overlooked that. That's important. So your one on the left gets two dice towards me. They both get two the dice. Light, the light bowman? Yeah. Okay. So I'm attacking a chariot unit. Right. You want to you want to hit with red squares. That's basically the only thing that will hit for them and retreats. Right. So if I roll the sword, well, it says apply one hit, ignore one sword hit. So does that mean I I would get one of my wounds back? No, no. Um, I that means that uh, the chariot has the ability to ignore a sword hit if it was any other unit. Um, but lights never affect, never, except for Auxilia, they never um, hit with cross swords. Uh, so you got a banner on me, and I have to retreat. I have to retreat two hexes, so I'm going to go... Okay, and then the other one gets a two dice. Hmm, good thing light. Nothing happens. Okay, that's it. Okay, so your turn's over now. It's my turn. Yes, sir. Close this. These guys are going to shoot. They can shoot three. So one, two, three. They can shoot at your leader and your light infantry, your auxiliary. I think they can hit the auxilia on the left, but they can't hit the one because your unit's in the way. Because you draw center to center, to center and um, you have an open line of sight to my left one, but not the right can't fire over their heads. They're bowmen. <laughs> They're arching their arrows. Yeah, well... Open always fire from the back over the heads of everybody. 
These guys aren't that good. This is the best that uh, the cheapest of money can buy. Alright, so I'm gonna roll three dice then? Two dice. Two dice? Why am I rolling two dice? Three hexes, two dice. Oh. Uh, that's miss miss. Boo. Alright, so that was. It was two cards, two units. All right, so I'm done. Okay. Alright. I'm order my light troops up to command, which is five. How do you know what your command is? Uh, it's the. It was there in the scenario information? The so you. Be, it's the number of cards you have as your command. So you have six. I have five. So, I'm going to activate... What are these guys? Alright, um... We're going to move one. Uh, these guys are going to throw, chuck their spears at them, not move. So two dice. And nothing and nothing. And then... Uh, guys... Actually... I did that wrong. I should have moved them all before I battled. Um, so, if I had hit anything, I would have given that back to you. Um, but they will move, and now they will battle against the heavies there. So I'm going to start with. So since you moved in between them, that means you couldn't have fired. Exactly. Quite. Exactly. Yeah. Because okay. you're supposed to do all your movement and then do your battles in whatever order you want. Um, gotcha. So, I will do the uh, the left auxilia first, and they will target the heavies. And what do my auxilia get? Uh, close combat, they get three dice. Okay. So here we go, three. So they do get the cross swords, so that's two hits on the heavies. But you're going to hit me back with five dice. So I take two hits. Yeah. And then heavy infantry. That's five. BC dice. And you are a light auxiliary. Yeah, so you just want green. You want green uh, circles or cross swords. So, so two hits. Two hits. Yeah. All right. And now these guys will see if they can finish the job. Three dice. Uh, they get one hit and one banner, which is good because you will have to retreat one hex. So I take a hit. Yep. And then I retreat one X that way. There you go. And that is it. Back to you. All right. Let's see. Oh, that's not good. All right. So I'm playing this card. Yep. So. That's pretty devastating right there. So that's 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 got. So it's this block here. How do I can I choose them all at once? Yeah, you can shift. You can either draw a box over them, or you can shift and click. Well, I okay. So I drew a box, and they all have black 
a black line around. Right, now you right click and say order. There you go. Okay. Alright, so. <laughs> I'm doing. Oh, now they all want to move at once. How do I. Oh, uh, you I just uh, click guy? somewhere somewhere off of them and then just grab the one you want. So I'm going to move this guy up here. This guy up here. Right there. Guys. Oh, this, right. this is going to hurt. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing that right. Yeah. You're absolutely doing it right. Okay. All right, and you get to choose. Ordered units may not fire. Right. So, but so the bowmen will fight hand to hand. That's right. All right. So light bow infantry may fire close combat. So they're gonna roll two dice against. So they are attacking those dudes. Yep. I'm rolling two dice. And I need just green circles. They're, so they're a light unit. They are, yeah. Nothing. So nothing. Now these guys. Now before so you do that, I get to battle back. Okay. So I throw three dice back at them, and uh, I hit three times. Because you're using the same line, right? I'm, that I'm looking at that top line in close combat. Right. It doesn't matter what you are; it just matters what you're attacking. Correct. Okay, so I took three. Yep. Now these guys are done. Mm -hmm. All right. So how do I say they're done? Well, I don't think you need to worry about it. You can just work okay, your so way. These guys are attacking. Yep. Oh, got another change real quick. So I'm going to attack the same unit. Uh huh. So this is a heavy unit. Yep. So it's going to roll five dice. Five big ones. Right. So two. Uh, two cross swords and a retreat. So those two cross swords would kill that unit? That would indeed. So we are going to. Uh, delete, and I will give you a banner. How'd you do that? Uh, I just, uh, I right-clicked on it, and I deleted it, and then I just dragged one of the banners down from the top. Now, okay. that heavy, um, it can advance. It can move into the space that has just been killed, if you want it to. But it's not going to attack again. Not it? this time, no. If he had a leader, he could, but, mm, yeah. So, how, I don't have to do anything. I'm just going to click it and move it. Yeah. That'll be the advance. That's it. Okay. All right, so you don't get a, an attack back. Nope. <laughs> he gone. All right. All right. So now I'm going to attack with these jamokes. I'm going to attack them dudes. Mm -hmm. Now, am I attacking them both? Yeah, so what will happen is if you hit me at all, I have to do a check on the leader to see if he's if he's killed. And if he's killed, then you get a banner. And I basically I roll two dice and if it comes up double leaders, then you kill the leader and you get a banner for it. Okay. But I'm still just rolling five dice. The leader doesn't can't roll any dice. Uh, you, he, you get the bonus because you have a leader with you. So that's an extra face that counts. So if you roll that purple helmet, then that counts as a hit. Oh, it doesn't. I, I, the purple helmet doesn't count when, since you have a leader there. It, it does. It does. Um, you get the hit for it, and then if you hit me at all, I have to do a, a check on the leader to see if he was accidentally killed. So I'm just rolling five dice then. Yep. So you got uh, three hits. It looks like. So a green's a hit, and the cross swords is a hit. So it's two hits on the unit, and then and and the leader apply one hit since you have a leader present. I have a leader. Correct. Present. Yeah, you have Defeas there. All right. So I'll take. Uh, let's see. 
So how do you check to see if you're a leader? Guy? So now I roll two dice, and if they come up two purple helmets, then that means he's killed. Why is it two dice? Because if you had wiped out the entire unit, I would only roll one die, and if it came up a leader, he, it's easier to kill him if he's by himself. So, but I passed the leader check. You only you only hit him once, but he's wounded. Whatever. Um, uh, let's I, I I'm I'm just trying to say how. So I hit you three times. You did right, and it's just right. if you hit me at all, then I do a leader check. Okay. Yeah. So. And a leader check is generally two dice yeah. when you're with a unit, and when one dice by yourself. Exactly. So it's easier. And how many wounds? And how many wounds does a leader have? It doesn't. It's just if you if you if you get the double helmets with two or a single helmet with one, then he's killed and you get a banner. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, let's see. For whatever reason, let's see. He's. Oh, there it is. Okay. There we go. Take a hit. And use the key maps. There we go. So I took three hits. And, and now you get to attack. I get hacked back. back with three dice. And helmets count for me as well now because I've got a leader. And uh, two banners, so you get to ignore one banner because you have a leader with you. So okay. uh, the other one you do have to take. So I'm just applying one retreat. That's it. I'm just going back one space. That is all. Okay. Okay. And you're done. Nope. Oh no! I've wasted my life. Attacking the same unit. Yeah, how did I know? Uh, cross sword. Okay. So, first thing we do is we uh, take the hit. He's dead. And we delete that and they give you another banner. And then the leader rolls one die. And it's fine. He has to attach himself to a close unit, so he's going to run over to this one now. Okay. <clears throat> Kicking butt. Those heavies, man. <laughs> Devastating. So I'm done. You're done. And I'm two fifths of being done. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. What can I do? I guess it's time to bring the right side in. So I can do leader's hex and four adjacent <coughs> linked hexes. So it's going to be them, two, Okay, so we will start with the bowman. Oh, um, let's do movements first. Okay. So, so the one guy's to moved in the middle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, it's because it was the uh, they were all attached. They had contiguous rows of hexes. Right, but yours is just in the right section. Right, but that's where the leader was, and so as long as they're connected to that leader's hex, that counts. So I can that's the way I can cross over a boundary. Oh, leader's hex, and oh, so it, it just counts where the leader is. Exactly. Exactly. So when it's when it's an inspired right leadership, it's not that you're activating right units; you're attacking, activating units attached to the right leader. That's it. Okay. Uh, so we will do these guys first, and we'll we'll do the slap and tickle fight here with the with your bowman. Uh, two dice and nothing. You, you don't win this game with with range combat. I, I just it's a heartbreaker. All right. And Do I get to shoot back? No, not for range. Boo! 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 And 
These wily little light bowmen here will suffer the wrath of the heavy chariot. Then they get four dice. And they get two banners. They can ignore one of them. But uh, they have to retreat the other but one. They yeah. can't retreat, they take a wound. Uh, they need to retreat two hexes, and they can't retreat two hexes, so they take two hits. Thus eliminating them. So I just clear marker, or do I delete it? You can delete. Delete it. And then you give me a banner. And now, one of the benefits of that heavy chariot is he can advance, and he may battle again. So I think he's going to battle again. What? Yeah. That's lame. Where does it say that? <clears throat> On the chart. On the chart. <laughs> Page two. Advance may battle. Boo! All right. Boo! We'll target these little auxilia here, and we'll throw four dice at them. Uh, one hit and two retreats. So they have to retreat two hexes. Yep. And that's it. Huh. Alright, so I'm playing this card. So it's... All those dudes? All those dudes, man. Okay. If I close this, my card hand box, where does it go? Just... Okay. Yeah, you well, how just, will I be able to reopen it? You just uh, click on the number two up there. Number two. No, sir, I don't like it. Okay. Let's see where a quick study on Command Colors Ancients. I was trying to figure out what all these cards do. Alright, so, <clears throat> attack it. Yes. What order would you like to attack? That is a good, good question. I think I'm going to attack with these guys first. Targeting the heavy chariot. Okay. Alright. So, the heavy chariot is a red square. Mm -hmm. Right, so a chariot unit. Yep. So you want, uh, you want red so, squares and cross swords... Um, so they are auxiliaria, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Infantry auxiliaria. They're rolling three dice. Okay. Uh, that is uh, Red square. two hits, baby. That is enough to eliminate the heavy chariot. Hit. Delete. And another Carthaginian drops. Now that Auxilia has the option to advance, if they wish. I will advance. Tap. These guys. Calvary. Okay, before you do that, now I get a chance to evade. Um, I can evade because you're on foot. Basically, I'm going to say I am going to run away, but you um, 
you can throw the dice, you get three dice, but only green circles count, and that's it. Okay. So they're rolling three dice again, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Because they're not there really. So only green circles count that's when you're evading that uh, cross. Circle. Right. Okay. So none, nothing else. So now they got to go back. Uh, let's see. T -t 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 I believe it is light cavalry for evade. So I have to go back fexes. This time. So now at least you guys are out in the cold here on the exactly. right hand side. Yeah. Dionysus and that light and those. What are those dudes? Light and medium, medium cavalry and light. Yeah. Okay. So if I throw out these heavy guys, they're going to attack. Okay. Those dudes. So they're rolling five dice. Mm -hmm. And those guys are auxiliary infantry. That's right. So you want green circles, cross swords, blue moons, orange stars, all of them. Yeah. Wow. So two hits and a retreat. Uh, there's two banners Or there. two hits and two retreats. So uh, let's take the hits first. Um... Two hits there. Now I do a leader check. Um, that's two dice. He's okay. And now I can ignore the first banner because I'm with a leader, but I can't ignore the second one. So we have to go back one. Okay. And I don't get to fight back. That's it. That's it. This outflanked issued order to two units or leaders in both the left and right sections. Hmm. Okay, those there and that. Okay, how did you click those units while well, out drawing a box? Were you like left clicking on them or something? I uh, left click and hold the shift down. Like, okay. just in Windows, multiple files, yeah. All right. Um. So is the chariot going to move, or is it going to attack? I think he's going to stay there, so let's... I think if they're going to stand still and shoot. Um. I think I'll do that. Alright, so we'll do the bowman first. Targeting these guys. Two. Nothing. But as you can see, that would have that would kill the leader. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. All right, and uh, heavy chariot on the light cavalry. Uh, he can evade. Yes, so he can evade uh, this heavier unit if he wishes, or he can stay and fight. So evade is retreat for hexes. Axes. It's two hexes. I did four last time, but it's actually only two. So it's not a full okay. retreat. Alright, so I'm going to evade. Okay, well, uh, stay there first, because I get a shot at you. And we're going to get the four dice, but only green circles. 
and just one hit. Okay, and we move over here. And the light cavalry will go first. Yeah. Target them. Two dice. Nothing. And you get three dice back at me. And one cross one sword. One cross sword and a banner. Um, I think the leader, because I'm adjacent to a leader, that also counts. Uh, By negating the banner? Yeah. I think if it's easy in or adjacent to you, so. Um, but I'm going to take that banner, I think. And I'll take the hit. Okay. And now for the big boys. Himmelko. Attack. This could, could go poorly. Three dice. Who's the attacking? Uh, the same guys. Same auxilia. Um, two. And you get to ignore them both, because you're supported and you got a leader adjacent. So you get three dice back. And two hits. That wipes them out. Could be it. Let's see. The leader vanished. Oh, did he? Oops, I deleted the wrong thing. Uh, there we go. He was still attached. Let me do a leader check. Single die. He's is it a single die or is it two dice because he was he w because the unit? So, because you wiped out the entire unit. He's standing mm -hmm. by himself, and then you do a single die to check for him. Okay. So, I'll give you the banner for that. And he's got to run away and join this one. So, that was, uh, that was pretty terrible. But it's back to you. That is a good card. So... I'm ordering those three units. Okay. So... They're gonna move. They're gonna move. And the bowmen are not going to move. So I'll use the bowmen first. Are going to attack your head and cherry. Why? So they are a light bow infantry. They held, so I'm rolling two dice. And cherry unit, I need to roll a red square. And you'll ignore the first sword, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, nope, yeah. page three. So swords don't count. Swords don't count, so it's just. So it's just banners and squid. So one retreat. How to do it? Um, okay, so they'll go. On these, because I've got lights there, uh, they can evade, and oh boy, will they! <laughs> so, uh, green circles are what you need. Nothing. Okay. So they're gonna go one, two. Okay. 
I'm done. Yep. Three in the center. That's where I'm going to move. The lights will... the light bowman will shoot yours. Two dice. They got a banner. Oh, how do they retreat and retreat? Light bow and retreat. Two retreats, two hexes. Alright, that's it. Um, mediums will attack the heavy, and uh, they get four dice. So they got a cross sword and a heavy, so that's two hits. Five back. Yikes. So, three. <laughs> and a banner. And a retreat. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. Um, hmm. Light cavalry. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost not worth it. I'm not compelled to attack. If I'd gotten you down to one, I might have. So they are. I was. I, I thought you were going to go for the other one, the one that was at one. I was, uh, but I figured uh, the bowman would shoot first, and you know if they took him out, great. I just didn't expect they'd get a retreat. It sucked. Um, yeah, I'm just going to hold there. No, I thought you were going to go after the heavy infantry. Oh, oh, yeah, not no, no, not with yeah, yeah, yeah. Live and learn. Okay. So it's yours. Bah. Bah. Swarm, swarm. No, <laughs> Yeah, it's good. All right. So the light cavalry can fire. Yeah, they can throw. Uh huh. They're going to attack. So they get two. Just one, because they moved. Right. Yeah, green circle. Yellow cross sword. But shooting doesn't do anything, so nothing. They did not. They moved. So they get one die. Nothing. Right. Those two are attacking. I will evade. Green circle. Okay. That uh, saved me from a pretty good whipping. Thought you're uh, heavy. 
Oh, I guess I can't attack the other unit. Yeah, the heavy versus medium. Okay. That'll do it. That's a victory. And I ah. surrender my final banner, falling into the blood and the sand. Well done. So normally with these scenarios, what we do is uh, we play it through twice. We swap sides and then see how the final score. So if you're interested in doing that, we can. We can reset it and go through it again with you playing the Carthaginians. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's, uh, I think it's as easy as just scenario base game. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to do... Close. Let's see, in log file. Uh, close the game. Do scenario. One. All right. Did it offer to let you come back in? Didn't do anything. Oh, okay. So, uh, right click on my name and do synchronize. Say the game, yes or no? You could say no, unless, yeah, unless you really wanted to. Choose uh, click two. Alright. Here we are again. Uh, so. so, how does it know that I am? It doesn't. That's why they just made it player one and player two. So it's interchangeable. That's why we can move any pieces we want. Yeah! I understand. Yeah, and some, some uh, modules, it's very nice because there there's hidden information that's that's keyed to whichever side you pick. Uh, so I'm, I'm just going to hit the hand five times. I could get more than five cards. I'm just going to get five. Right. It won't stop me. Okay. Hey. Questions before we start this again? Anything uh, strategy-wise? Yeah, these cards are weird. You, uh, you, you seem to do pretty well on that last one, so I, I can't imagine that I've got anything to offer. But um, most of this game is just figuring out the little, you know, combinations of when it's appropriate to do this versus that, range versus close combat, evasion versus not. You know. Right. Um, Coming from a minute. Oh, I guess I did have a medium unit. See, I kept. I had a bunch of order medium troops cards and didn't think I had anything, but now I see it's covered up by. Oh yeah, Dionysus. Yeah, that's your only one. And this is this is the very first scenario. So literally, this is this is spoon feeding it to you. Is sure. Um, some of the more complex scenarios. Once you get the elephants involved, that's that's hysterical because they go crazy. Uh, all right, I'm first. Round two. Uh, How do you know you go first? Because uh, that's in the it's pre-programmed by the scenario that the Syracusans go first. Oh, okay. Yep. I heard that yawn. Uh, all right, let's do three in the center. Uh oh. Yes. Oh, should I have not? Draw my cards until we re you reshuffled the deck. Uh, no, it was or automatically re reshuffled yeah. because you restarted. The yeah. Deck. Okay. All right. So. <laughs> okay. So now they're in a line. Mm. So you've got a line card. Yeah. I got it. Maybe. See, now I'm figuring this stuff out. Maybe. Uh huh. <laughs> right. Back to you. Oh. Okay. So that's what that little star means. Yeah. Yeah, when you hit the... Uh, I'm figuring this stuff out. A cheater book here. Under the heavy chariot. A, four, D, three. It attacks at a four dice and defends at three dice. Ah, okay. Not 
it's all legal? All legal. Okay. And the light cavalry can still shoot. Yeah, they could throw their little spears. And uh, I guess. Yep. Light cavalry. Or light dudes. Nothing. Nothing. Draw a card. And I'm done. Okay. One leader's command in the right section. Well, both of the leaders are in mm -hmm. in the right section. Options. Leaders, hex, plus four. Yeah. So that's pretty much everything yeah. there. So can you order another leader's unit with that card? You sure can. Okay. So we'll just do these, though. But you could technically do them all, right? I could. If yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just... You could still do the heavy cap infantry with, with Daphne. Yes. Yeah. The two auxilia, because they move two, cannot battle. But the medium cavalry can go after the heavy chariot. And uh, heavy chariot cannot run away, because I'm faster than he. Uh, so here we go. Three dice. Uh, I got one heavy and two banners. Take a hit. Yep. I gotta retreat twice. Yeah, so four total hexes. Okay. One, two, three, four. Right. You couldn't see my arrows. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> all right. <laughs> That's all right. All right. I've got weird cards this time. <laughs> Some of them are like, they're like like three of them are just like like very very situational. So I'm just trying to sure. figure out what how to what to do with them. I'll just play the what I understand. Okay. So. Because when I fire, you say I have to draw. Oh, let me let me just make sure I'm doing this right. So if I want to move these guys here, and I move these guys here, right. they could not throw their spear at the medium cavalry because the light cavalry is no, kind of in, in the way. In that situation, along that hex spine there, you do have uh, one of the hexes is open, so you can hit them. You could, okay. yeah. But if you want to hide behind the horses, that's fine. Over here. So they're just moving. So they're not doing anything on that flank. So these guys will attack. And they will chuck their spears at them. So they moved so they get to roll one die. And now I need triangles. Right. Nothing. I hate your leader. He's there. <laughs> you gotta have a leader. Alright, so light cavalry. ACC. Two dice. 
DC special, no sword hits. What does that mean? It means you don't hit with swords. Okay. So I just need to get diamonds on two dice. Hey, Diamond. that'll do one. Or a triangle. Yeah. Alright, so I take a hit first, and then I roll two dice for the leader to see if he got hit. He's okay. And now I battle back with three dice. Uh, and nothing. Yeah, that's about right. Draw a card, and I'm done. All right, we'll do three units on the right. You're right. My right, yeah. What are these? So he'll move. I don't think I have any ancient Roman type music. Oh, I'm playing it. Don't worry. I, on the recording, you'll hear it. <laughs> I'm piping it through. Uh, it's quite good. It's good, good playlist. All right, so they've all moved. Uh, the light unit will. Hmm. I really don't have anything ancient or only. I don't think. They're gonna throw their spears at the cavalry. I specifically got the Gettysburg soundtrack. I think like two years ago, after BGG. Oh yeah. In case we ever wanted to play one of your Civil War games. Oh yeah. Well, I need to send you the link to my YouTube channel. I'm getting I'm getting clicks every day, baby. I've been recording a lot, <laughs> so. All right. What you 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 record games like this? Yeah. And play them. That's exactly it. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of teaching. Um, this the quarantine's fantastic for us. I mean, <laughs> Vassal's never been so popular. All right, I, that's a miss on that. Uh, now Dionysus uh, is attacking the light, light cavalry. So it's uh, did you the light, the light, the light guys threw their spears and missed. They were okay. yeah. So three for the medium cabs. Oh, uh, you have the option to run away or evade if you wish. And that means you'll, you'll only hit me on triangles. Uh, no, green circles. What, whatever you Oh, because I'm like cavalry, yeah. right? You're the, um, yeah, I'll evade. Okay. So I will throw the three, and I get nothing. So you go so, back two. And then I have to move back. Yeah. Okay. One more. It's two. Oh, I have to move my... It's two hexes, yeah. It's not four, which is the full retreat. Uh, and then the auxilia here will attack your auxilia. And they'll throw three dice. And I get a cross sword and a banner. Okay. And I believe that is all for me. Doing this, we attack those guys. Those guys. Yeah. Oh, one die. Nothing. Leader plus three. Sectors, hex, and three adjacent linked hexes. And that can mean how you've got a line. That. They've all moved. Yes. Um, the light bowmen are the only ones that can fire. Attack that. 
with one die. Nothing. That's it. Is my moving. Okay. So attack. Oh, light infantry. We'll attack. Your sling? That's both eyes? No, that's your light infantry, right? Uh, infantry, no, that's infantry. my auxiliary other. Oh, auxiliary. Okay. Alright. So two dice needing green circles. Hmm? Or swords. No swords. I know swords. Because the, the regular lights, no sword hits. Because they're, they're weaselly and weak. That will work, though. That is a banner. Not supported. Uh, so they will come back here. Yeah, I don't want that to happen. All right. So then the auxiliary auxilia infantry will shoot at those guys. Okay. Like chuck their spears. Sure. So that's one dot. They're supported now, so I will ignore that. Light cavalry will attack your medium cavalry. Okay. Nothing I can do about it. Wow. That's a hit. And we're going to check to see if Dionysus is injured. He is not. They battle back with three. Get two hits. We'll do some double time. Mm. So issue an order to four or less foot units in a block. All light units. And move two hexes and engage in close combat. Even heavy units, they move two hexes and still engage in close combat. I think that, that's not the one I used on you that kind of turned the tide? Yes. That's a, yeah, okay. That's, Here a, it goes. that's a good one. <laughs> You're right. Here's a good one. All right, so it'll be these four right Look here. Look at that guy's convenient long line. Yes. See, it's all about battlefield cohesion. How do I do this? Uh. All right. Um, start up here. These guys will attack your bowmen. Your bowmen may evade if they wish. They will. Okay. So five dice, only greens. Nothing. So does that retreat count, count since I was evading? Uh, it's just, no, no, none of those count. So they just move back one. Right, because it, you said it was only green. Yeah, it's, so. it's you know, evasion is always two hexes. Oh, it's always two hexes. Yeah. I thought it might be like half their retreat or something like that. Right. Okay. So that was nothing. Um, um, these guys will attack here. Five dice. Hmm. And they 
they have to stand their ground because they're salty veterans. So, here we go. Uh, one. one hit? One hit. Now they retaliate? They do. What do they retaliate with? Three dice. They are. It's just always their CC yeah. dice? Yeah, uh-huh. Okay. They hit and they retreat. Ooh, very nice. Daphius will attempt the same. See, I would have thought you would have attacked with the bowman first on that unit, just to try and soften them up a bit. Eh, well, but I guess, though, no, your bowman moved too, didn't they? Yeah. So the, okay, so they can't attack, so, can they? they well, they, well, they, still, they, they still won, yeah. Alright, here's five dice from Daphius. One. Uh, actually, um, two hits, because I've got the leader. Okay. Three back. So, uh, hit. So, hit. We'll do a leader check. Uh, half away. But he's okay. And, uh, and you're going to ignore the retreat with your leader? I am. And then the light bowman will shoot at that last auxilia with one die. Aim true, boys. No. Nothing. Alright, what is that? Alright, so I guess I'm gonna play something wacky. So you might have to help me with this card. What's this plus two in the corner mean? It just means they're just rolling two, di two extra dice? Yes, that's a very good one. Alright, so all units adjacent to enemy units. Wow. So that's gonna be. Let's see. You have a shift, right? So, boot, 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 boot. Those four. Right? Yeah. Yeah, right. you have to read that like Brian Blessed. Clash of Shields! <laughs> Clash of Shields! Plus two dice! Crash horses! <laughs> Alright. So, medium infantry. That's gonna be six dice. Uh, they're four dice Attack. plus two, yeah. So, go. Six dice. Ah! What a wiffle burger. Uh, so, two, two hits, hits and a retreat. And a retreat. And because you forced a uh, retreat, those mediums may advance. Oh, okay. If you wish. Oh, hold on. There's something there. Oh, I take a momentum advance after a successful close combat and may battle again when eligible with normal battle dice. But that's only if it has the momentum may battle rule. Right, right. So um, that's only what would have applied to warriors... And heavy chariots. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, right. that's for the second battle. But I thought if you if you cause a retreat, I thought you could advance. Let me double check that. Um, yeah, if you, or you force me to retreat, you can, you can. That's considered a successful close combat. So, wh when it says just advance, you can advance. But if it was advance and may battle, like the warrior infantry, you could do a second battle. So. They can go so, they but advance doesn't mean I have to go after the unit that retreated. I can just make a move. No, like, you, have to, you have to go into the advance rule. You have to go into the into the hex that I vacated. Hmm. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'll advance. All right. 
so... These dudes. Mm -hmm. They're attack. You better kill me. That dude. <laughs> so they would normally roll three dice. So they roll five. five. One, three, two, three. three. Well, you said I should kill you, so. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. Okay, so that is a... Uh, actually, you know what? Gonna make it easier. Oops. Uh, just drag that over and give you that block. There you go. Uh, the Daphius now has to make a leader check with a single die. And he's okay. But he must scurry over and join them. And uh, the auxilia may advance if they wish. Okay, so these guys will attack. Don't think it really matters. But I'm trying to break the scoop up, so I will turn that. So they normally have two dice, so they're rolling four. Mm. Two hits. No, one hit. One hit. Nope. Two hits. Um, right? Um, yeah, two hits. You don't get the crosswords. I don't get the crossword? No, because they're just regular light units. So one hit and a retreat. Yeah, well, I can't ignore the retreat because I got two, so... Supporting buddies. Take the hit, though. Okay. So you're gonna attack me back, then? Yes. Uh, three dice. Three dice. Yeah, this is auxiliary. Oh, auxiliary. They're veterans uh, of war, so they get two hits. Okay. All right, and you've still got that one. This one's, Two, this one's gonna be bloody. You got me. And Dionysus checks. And he's okay. And she's gotta come over and join them. Alright. So now the light cav advanced. Move one hex may battle, but since I destroy that unit, I can't. I would advance into the space you were. Well, but since there's so no read, one yeah, everyone adjacent, is, there's no one to battle. Well, read read that read that all again in in steps. So you can advance into that space. Mm -hmm. Then you can move one hex of your choice, and then you may battle again. Ah, uh -huh. yes. okay. So advancing. Moving. Yep. Attacking. Same unit. That unit. Mm -hmm. But with normal battle dice, so I'm just rolling two. Yep. And got a hit. That is a hit. Right. And Dionysus takes check twice. He's okay. And then battle back with two. Nothing. Let's see, that was fairly successful. I think my turn then. What was this? Hit that. Draw a card. We will activate two units in the center. Alright, uh, so I. Played the card, activated those two units in the center there, the two heavies. And okay. they are going to attack! Um, we will start with this one. And he'll get uh, five dice against the medium there. 
two cross swords and a banner. Guys, attempt to wipe them out. Yeah, what's that? Um, okay, uh, five dice with a leader, and lots of killing. Let's take that one, <coughs> and uh, leader can advance with them. I think they will. Um, hmm. Actually, no, I think they'll stay right there. Yeah, they'll stay there. Okay, back to you. Hit and a ret and two retreats, but you're next to your leader, so you get to ignore one retreat. That's right. <clears throat> so one hit and sadly still a retreat. Um, now he, your guy, can advance into there and can battle again because he's got a leader. Ah. Yeah, it's one of the benefits of leadership. So they will advance by moving there. Yep. And battle again by rolling five dice, targeting the same unit. Okay. Or. Hmm. Yeah. That's it. That's dead, dead. Going after the other unit. Okay. There's another banner for you. Everybody else doesn't have anyone to attack anymore, so we're done. Alright. Uh, we'll do four units on the right. Lights versus this light cavalry. Would you like to evade? Yes. Okay. So two dice, no swords, only circles. One hit. That's enough. <laughs> and he's got a leader. Let's see. So 
we can advance and battle again. I think they're just going to advance. Um, these guys will attack here. They may evade if they wish. Yes. Okay. Three dice, green circles only. Nothing. Well, they're evading two. And these guys will attack here. Three dice. I get uh, cross swords, and you can ignore the banner. There you go. Okay. You get three back with a leader bonus. That's still a hit. Alright, and that is it. Alright, I'll try this card. <laughs> Good timing. So I'm rolling five dice. I got nothing. So I get to bring back one on this. Right? Uh, That's it. In the Himilco? The leader's unit? Oh, it's... Let's see, from... One unit... Oh, for each unit type or leader symbol roll. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Then I'll uh, take that. Are ordered and may move and battle. So these guys will move. Mm. And they'll move. Oh, they're going to attack. Them. So, medium infantry roll four dice. Eesh. Get a sword and two retreats. Right. All right. Leader check first. He is okay. Nor a retreat and just must retreat back. Retreat. Uh, yes. Or can you choose to take them both if you wanted to? I could take them both, yeah. Uh, I will take one of them. And yeah, that's good. Hey, Mako. Auxiliary will attack your auxiliary. So that's three dice. Damn. So two, hits two hits and a retreat. And you may advance in there and battle again. They get to battle again? Because they have a leader attached. Yeah, I'll try and finish him off. I'll do it. You got me. There's that. Hmm. Apparently I'm terrible at this game. Beginner's luck. <laughs> I doubt that. Uh... Well, we will leave it to the gods, for I will play I am Spartacus. What's this? Roll dice equal to command for each unit symbol rolled. You can order that type. And leader symbol is a wild card. And I get one additional die, and then we're going to reshuffle the deck and discards. So five dice, six dice, 
Carthage and Army and uh, Syracusans. So I get uh, one of each. So you activate univ yeah, so you four units. Because mm -hmm. so you, you ignore the banners, right? Right. You don't count as anything. Right. So we'll do... Um, Sadly, no mediums left, uh, but I can do that, and that. Yeah. Okay. What are these? Um, so they're gonna go a heavy, a light, and then a choice. And firing, no doubt. Indeed. Advancing. Yes. All right. Um, so when battle, does shooting count as battling, or is that just close combat? Battle is For your additional dice. Uh, yeah, that's any right, any anything. So you get to roll. You get to shoot with additional dice. Correct. Ooh. Um, sadly, they moved though, but they will uh, target. Are you going to move your Augs earlier? Yeah. No, they're going to stay right there. Attack. Okay. Um, okay, so we'll start there. Two dice. Himmelco. Nothing. And then... Uh, these guys will attack the Chariot. Chariot may evade, since I'm on foot. It doesn't matter. Oh, well, you're auxiliary, so you your swords will count. Yeah. Well, it, with an evade, it would it would still only be the heavy symbol. Right. Right. If I but if I don't evade, your swords would count. Correct. I'm rolling three dice. Four. Oh, four. Oh, four. Spartacus. Yeah. I'll evade. Okay. There we go. Come on, baby. Need a heavy. There we go. Ooh. There's auxilia. It will advance. And then uh, Darnes will attack the mediums with six dice. Come on, Daphis. Daphis Maximus! One, two, three hits. That's enough. And they will advance and will battle again. Targeting them. Uh, and it doesn't say I don't lose it on the second attack. Yeah, it just says... Yeah. So why wouldn't I? Yeah, it's, yeah. battle for the shield die this turn. All right, well, you need to get four. Come on, baby. Six. Here we go. Uh, one, two, three. Two, three. But you got the retreat. Yeah. <sighs> Oh, which you can ignore, because you got the leader. Oh, I'm going to ignore the retreat then. <laughs> yes, you are. So, you got three. Yep. Oh, this is going to hurt. Comes down to a die roll. Oh, uh, do your leader check first. If I kill him. Two dice? Yeah. Oh, Almost. one die. So close. Five dice back. Yep. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is game. Very nice. Uh, let's take a hit. Take a hit. And just for grins, let's do the one leader check to see if you get the extra. Nope. Okay. But still, congratulations. Well done. That was tight. <laughs> it was very tight. That was a good win. 
uh, yeah, some redemption. But it, what I would hope to do, what I want to do, uh, since this is a viable way to play this now, and, and you seem like a captive audience, is that we could go through all the scenarios <laughs> in all the expansions and just one one a week and we go back and forth if that's something you're interested in doing. Sure. Okay. Well, let me twist your arm. <laughs>